Hey, students, I want you to picture this. You're in early high school, sitting in your class, maybe half listening to your linguistics teacher, music teacher, math teacher, whatever it is, you might feel that it's really boring. And truth is, you as a student spend a lot of time at school. But to some of you, you just don't bother looking back into those eight hours you spent in class. And so you think to yourself, what am I really doing? You intrigue yourself once more, what if none of what I'm doing right now will actually shape my future for the better? In high school, you're presented with endless opportunities. What classes to take, what clubs to join, who to hang out with. Yet, you can get overwhelmed. Today, I will tell you that the small choices you made in high school will affect your future really, really prominently. Let's imagine that you're an avalanche control group at the top of the Alps. In your hand, you have a snowball. You ring that snowball down a hill. At first, it rolls slowly, just a small, harmless ball of snow. And as it goes, it gets bigger, faster, heavier, and before long, boom, it's an avalanche. That's how your choices in high school could get. Just something insignificant as something like standing up for an answer or joining for a team could end into something bigger, like speaking in a public stage or trying in a professional team. Let's take a look at our first example, Barack Obama. In his early career, he was only a event organizer in Chicago South Side. There, it wasn't a modest role. It was a modest role. It didn't pay much. And sure, it wasn't glamorous, but he took that as an opportunity, an opportunity to understand people's challenges, to connect with people. Soon, his, law, his career in law started when he joined in Harvard Law School, School of Law. There, not soon, he became the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. His career in politics followed with being a Senate, which then followed by being the president of the United States of America in 2008. Now, I know what you're thinking. How do I know that my, op my option how do I know that the, what I'm choosing right now is the correct path? Well, sometimes building your future is not just about looking forward to your future. It's about making choices. Choices that will make more choices that will make more choices. Because life, sadly, is uncertain. And so, to find that option, to find that pathway, I use what I call the three questions framework. Number one, does this excite me? Do you feel a little spark of curiosity? When thinking about this, do you feel excited? Excitement is one of the signs that you're on the right path. Number two, will this make me grow? Growth comes when you are put outside of your comfort zone. And number three, what's the long-term potential? Your biggest choices, your biggest dilemmas, are the ones that shape your future in the longer term. And so let's take another example. Satya Nadella. As an engineering student in India, he was torn by playing cricket or diving deeper into the world of informatics. Although cricket was enticing, he chose to study deeper into informatics, technology, and communication where, at those times, he got into multiple positions in multiple companies, which then ultimately landed him a position at Microsoft. There, he climbed through the ranks and became more skillful at his skills, and then he is now the CEO. Under his leadership, Microsoft became the cloud-first, mobile-first application and platform 
that is now known that have changed how billions of people interact with technology. His big change, his big impact, was caused just by him not choosing cricket, which, in retrospect, is actually a more unstable future compared to engineering. So, I want to ask, what snowball do you have? Maybe it's something as small as trying out for a team, maybe it's an Olympic, or maybe it's just standing up for a speech, whatever that might be, you need to know that a big avalanche starts with a small push. And it is time for you to find that snowball and push it at the right direction. That was from me, Muhammad Zain Fayruz. Thank you for listening.